Welcome back to another Schmidt Farm video. Today is rooster processing day. So we're gonna give you an overview here and then we'll come back with a couple of couple of highlights. So we got roosters in here. These are primarily from last year. We've kept them cooped most of last winter, so I got to feed them all winter. So they'll go from there. The next step here will be the cones where we'll bleed out for several minutes. Then we're gonna go over here to our scalder and we'll get a good scald. And the chicken plucker, well we gotta move the chicken plucker in this position. So they go in the bucket to get plucked and they come up here to the processing table. It's probably bright. Um, where we'll, uh, we'll process them up and there's our bucket of uh, clean, wa clean ice water waiting to uh, receive. So come back in a minute with some follow-up. That's the pass out part. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting sleepy and tired. And Steve, what are you doing now? Oh, uh, we're scalding. We're just kind of... We want to wiggle them around in the water because lots of times they'll have natural oils on their feathers that help them keep them waterproof when they're running around the yard. Mm -hmm. So we want to wiggle them around in the water to make sure the hot water gets up to their skin. And that helps uh, break down the protein that holds the feathers into the feather socket. And uh, so we're going to do this for, I don't know, 20, 15, 20, 30 seconds. And we're going to do a feather test. We'll Single, single uh, wing feather, just, just a single, we'll give it a tug and if it comes out with with, with uh, minimal effort then you're ready to throw them in your chicken plucker. And what uh, temperature is the water? Uh, we're scalding between, ideal is about 145, we usually shoot for about 150 and we can go up and down from there. Uh, we don't have any, I don't have any high tech thermometer or uh, thermostat on this. Some people use a um, hot water heater thermostat and you can set 150 on that or 145 on that. Over here to the chicken plucker. So I'll take a look at them. They're looking pretty good. I'll give them a couple more. Don't want to run them down too much, otherwise they get bruised. Well, the last little feathers we'll hand we'll do by hand. But since we got a good scald, they don't they don't take much to pull out. They're just short, hard for the fingers to catch. So they pluck out easy enough. Point is the most of the body's clean. You don't have any pin feathers left. Things like that. The hard stuff to pluck by hand. Yep. <laughs> I know, that's fun. I know, that's so Yeah. Yeah. Next we'll cut feet off. So there's a joint back here at the knuckle just basically right in the middle of that all the way around <clears throat> no no bone cutting as long as you got a sharp knife to get through the tissue there tendons some people like to keep the feet the collagen in the feet makes really good chicken broth if you're Asian or southern they they'd, they'd uh, make a point to Make sure that the feet get a good scald also. And then the, the feet, they have an outer skin that comes off. They'll pull the outer skin off and then they'll cook them. The outer skin is what's nasty. that has got all the mud and poo that they were running around in. So they're fairly clean at that point. Thick heads. We don't really keep chicken necks. You can keep chicken necks for your stock. 
again, it's got a, got a lot of good collagen and stuff in it. But again, we're going to find a spot between two vertebra and just kind of roll it in half and snap it off and then you just finish it up. And then it's on to the cleaning crew over here. I'm trying to cut the neck off of mine. The necks are really hard to cut through. Um, you shouldn't have to cut any bones, but if you cut the flesh all around, just, you know, close down where... Yeah, and I probably didn't get as close as I wanted to, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, cut all the flesh off from around there and then you should be able to bend it but, but yeah if you just basically you're just disconnecting them from the edges and once you disconnect everything then everything will all pull out of one big chunk. As they're crowing in the background. <laughs> yes. As their their remaining friends. So we have liver, the green, the gallbladder. Do not puncture. Yeah, don't puncture the gallbladder. It's a nasty green that gets stains on everything. It's the heart, intestines, lizard hard shiny thing. This is kidney. Keeping hearts and livers today. Can on pigeon. Is there anything to watch for that would indicate that they're sick or anything like that? I guess if things are discolored or okay. but Typically we don't see too much. Well yeah, on the farm, less likely. Yeah, but there's some livers, if anybody's interested in that. Are you able to fish yours out of there? I'm kidding. It's stuck on the bottom is what my issue is. It takes some time to get used to fishing around in there. And then once everything else is out, you'll be able to feel up against the rib cage. All right, so we're finishing up the chicken from today. We got a cooler of a bird here from the pink pink water tub that the ice water has been they've been sitting in. Um, so we'll pull a couple out at a time. We've got shrink bags. They go ahead first. Um, so then once we come over here, I got one in a bag. We got some some uh, 170 to 200 degree water. I wear the gloves because it gives me just a little protection, splashing hot water on my hands. Um, uh, and and uh, well, we'll just show you how it goes. So we poke a, poke a hole in the top of the bag, and this goes in here like this.
They're all nice and shrunk up. Alright, so there's about 40 pounds of chicken. Uh, technically 10 chickens. Our biggest was 411. Smallest was 3 pounds, 4 ounce. Um, most were right around the 4 pound category. A um, couple ounces shy maybe. So um, they'll all go on ice in the cooler for 3 days. That'll be the rest period. Then they'll go in the freezer. That way either us or a customer wants to eat them, they can pull them right out of the freezer. And our recommendation for roosters is crock pot or soup. Uh, crock pot works really well. So.